This just in, most Americans now believe that Justice Scalia was murdered. Evil is as evil does. Chemtrails, abortion, mandated vaccines laced with mercury, engineered epidemics, engineered conflicts in Syria and Ukraine, false flag attacks, police state brutality, draconian laws, the list goes on and on. Do we live in the land of the free or the land of tyranny? What's it going to take for people to wake up out there? A mushroom cloud, FEMA camps for domestic patriots? People say they're waking up, but they haven't the slightest clue what they're waking up to. They're not fully appreciating the scale of the evil we're up against. The pyramid on the dollar bill is 80 years old, ladies and gentlemen. We were born into slavery, born into a state of occupation. The people that control the events of this world are using technology 100 years ahead of the times. They own the corporations, the food, the water, the jobs and they've decided to terraform the planet to exterminate the population. This isn't an episode of the Twilight Zone. This is the true state of our reality. Our replacements are on the horizon. Our replacements are set to arrive, like workers from a third world country. Except our replacements here, ladies and gentlemen, will be Terminator, Skynet, and the Borg. The post-human age is upon us and the extermination of the planet has begun. The systems set to take us out have been put into place, and what we think of as reality is but a dream. Democracy is but a dream. Voting is but a delusion. If you think things are gonna change because of an election, you got another thing coming. The highest office in the land can't touch the technological elite. Things are set to get worse and worse as time goes on, not better. And so democracy is but a dream. The solution here is to work together, to wake people up, to build networks, to support one another, and to get the word out. We are occupied. We are not in the land of the free. So beware of politicians, beware of the mainstream media, and beware of infiltrators that will lead you down the dark path. Evil will try to infiltrate and mess your life up. They know who you are. They know what you like, and they know how to introduce themselves into your frame of mind. Because they work as a hive mind. They know your darkest secrets. They know what you're thinking right now. And they know what you're gonna do. Your only defense is to stay in the present moment. To carefully calculate your decisions that are in the present. Test the theory out. And if you find that people are in the wrong place at the wrong time to mess up your day, it isn't by accident. But to make things more obvious, Take the telepathic test. Force every thought out of your mind and try to keep it that way for as long as you can. Eventually, something will happen. The matrix will try and influence you. The telepathic matrix. See how long you can keep your mind blank before a thought comes popping in and then ask yourself, where did that thought come from? Once you realize that there's something out there trying to influence you, you'll realize that half your thoughts are not your own. Your mind is being read at the speed of light at this very moment, and the agents of evil that are near you will be using this information to attack you, to plan their strategy around you. If you've ever thought this was possible, let us be the first to tell you that it is possible. Your thoughts are not your own. You cannot imagine the scale of the evil that is working against you. Evil will introduce thoughts of doubt, envy, pride, and lust as weapons against you. And if it cannot sway you to the dark side through thought alone, it will attempt to sabotage what it can in your daily life. Your job, your relationship, your environment. It will find a means of attack. Perhaps they will poison your water supply. Perhaps natural gas will leak in your neighborhood. These inconveniences that occur in your daily life are not by accident. They are part of their strategy, their plan, and their weapons that are being used against you. The world is not as it seems. There is a war going on around you, a battle between good versus evil. And the evil that you are fighting is a hive mind. And the evil that you are confronted with is a proxy agent. They're a node on the network, and they're working collectively against you 
to eliminate and suppress you. That's how occupation works. And that's how they can get away with things like chemtrails, like 9-11, like every other false flag and staged event you've seen on television. Everybody knows 9-11 was a false flag, but nobody knows how they got away with it. The answer is the hive mind. The shills you're worrying about, the people you think that are working for the government, they're not working for the state. They're working for the metaphysical evil that's best described in the Bible. And these agents of evil, these proxies are everywhere. They're spiritually connected and they communicate telepathically. It sounds unbelievable, we know. The truth doesn't care because the truth is stranger than fiction.